In this video, I'm going to be showing you a method where you can make money with affiliate marketing without a website, without a landing page, without having an email list, without having to buy traffic. And even you can apply to this affiliate program, the special program, even without a website, unlike many other programs. And so we're going to have a value pack method today. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to be showing you a little trick that you can basically take this method and make even more money with it by doing something else with it. And so definitely stay until the end. I'm going to be showing you lots of interesting ways of making money. And this is a really, really interesting niche that nobody else is talking about. And you can really go out and exploit this niche. And so before we get into the niche, I want to show you something really quick. Uh, here I am on a web page. This is 10 best, uh, best restaurants in New York. And this is your typical list, okay? This is your typical list. And if you've been on the internet long enough, you've probably seen these lists all over the place, right? This is 10 best lists. And the beautiful thing about this list is that me as a consumer, I can basically look at this list and I, you know, I, I get the information that I need. But it's also a great uh, content, great piece of data if you are a developer, if you're somebody who is looking to get data and to build applications, somebody like a programmer, a software developer, uh, people like that. And so if I'm a software developer, I actually want to get this data. And one easy way to get this data is by using a plugin called Scraper, okay? And when you have this plugin, you can basically go to Chrome and you can install this plugin. I use this plugin all the time. I even showed you in some of the other videos. And this is a free plugin. And all you have to do is basically highlight and you can you can basically click on scrape similar and you get a list right here. You could copy it to clipboard. You can export it. And so from a programmer's perspective, this is a really royal, really awesome tool because it's absolutely free. The only problem with this tool is that it's not very advanced. So for instance, Let's say I want to get the URLs, right? I see the URLs, but if I click highlight, scrape similar, I don't get the URLs. I only get the names. Or maybe I want to get locations, right? You see how it says Brooklyn underneath. If I scroll down, it says Midtown West. I want to get these locations. So what I do is I basically highlight and I click on scrape similar and I do not get the full list. I only get um, I only get like one, one result, right? I get this Lilia rest, uh, Ristorante and I get the name of the location. So it's not a very advanced tool. And scraping is a big, big area for developers. It's a huge market, right? It's a multi-million dollar market, maybe even more than that, maybe even multi-billion dollar market because it allows you to build applications. So the problem with this main tool is that it's not very, very advanced. Well, thankfully, there are plenty of other tools that are a lot more advanced, and these tools they have really nice affiliate programs and you can actually go out to developers, which is super easy. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it and market to them and basically tell them, hey, you're doing scraping. Well, guess what? There's a tool that allows you to do it much easier. Okay. And so this is what we're going to be talking today. And if you stick until the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you an interesting twist with this method that you can basically double your money or even triple it or even more and but you must stay until the end of the video and so let me show you this this tool that i really really like and this tool is called appify okay this tool is amazing because you can extract data from any website and it's a lot more advanced than the tool that i showed you obviously it's a free tool the scraper tool it's a very very primitive tool it's not advanced, it's not complex, it's not sophisticated. But with this tool, you can pretty much extract anything you want. Take a look at these uh, browse the Reddit tools. I can, I can extract from the web. I can extract Facebook pages. I can extract Google search results, right? I can build my own SEO tool by, you know, extracting Google search positions and showing where, you know, that the client's position is. Instagram, Google Maps, Hello World example, contact details, booking, Amazon, uh, Puppeteer, a lot of these tools I don't even know about, emails, there's a lot of interest, Airbnb, there's a lot of you know things and I can even click on show more and pretty much everything is here, Google Sheets, YouTube, right? Anything you need to do, you can get this tool to, to do it for you, right? And if you go to my dashboard, I've been using this tool uh, kind of actively, right? I've been using it and I actually, um, you know, I've been pretty, I've, I've had pretty good results with this tool. If you go my, into my tasks, you see the tasks that I've been running, succeeded, aborted. 
uh, etc., etc. And a, and a quick side note for you: if you are interested in this kind of stuff, building tools, uh, building websites, kind of uh, connecting data, I actually started a brand new channel, and it's gonna have a link in the description. This is more of a channel for uh, kind of these tools, these developments. So maybe some of you might be interested in that. Take a look in the description, and you will see a link to that brand new channel. And even if you're not uh, interested in this kind of thing, I would really appreciate it if you could click on that link and subscribe to the channel just to help the YouTube algorithm. All right, now that we covered that, let's continue with this method. And so I've been using this tool for a while now. I really, really like this tool. And this is a great tool for developers, okay? Because when I started doing web scraping, and this is a hot niche, right? I did not even know these tools existed. It took me a long time to discover tools like this. I found that on the message board. I found it somewhere. I don't really remember where I found it, but I didn't even know these tools existed. And so why by promoting these tools, okay, and I'm going to show you in a second how you're going to be promoting it, you're going to be helping out developers a whole lot, right? Because not only they have a really generous free plan, but they don't really cost a lot, and the value you're getting is insane compared to how much money you have to pay. And they have an awesome affiliate program as well. And also, you can take a look. This is the traffic for this tool. This is appify.com. They're getting 150,000 uh, visits per month, right? And the other thing I, I want to bring to your attention is the average visit duration is 7 minutes, 25 seconds, okay? Average pages per visit is 8.5. And, and the bounce rate is lower than 50%. So all of this means is that when people discover this tool, when people actually go on here, they stick around because they're browsing eight pages, right? If I go to another site, maybe like New York Times or another news site or another like generic kind of news site, a very popular news site, you're going to see that they're getting a lot of views, but the visitor du duration is only three minutes and the pages per visit is two minutes compared to something like eight and a half and a lot more visit duration for Appify, right? So Appify is a quality product. And so if you can recommend it to people, they're gonna be signing up for it. That's exactly what I did when I discovered. I basically signed up for it, and I will be using a paid plan going forward because of the value that it's providing, all right? So now I wanna show you their affiliate program, and this is probably the best part of the video uh, because it's an amazing affiliate program. So you just go to appify.com, you go to partners, and you click on affiliate program and you click on join now. So before we go to join now, let me show you a little bit about this program. Send the customer our way and earn 20% recurring commission as our affiliate with no limits on what you can earn. Not only are you you're gonna be making money, but you're gonna be having a recurring income. Okay, so if you you know if you promote this and somebody like me signs up, so let's say I sign up and I'm paying like a hundred bucks a month. They do have pl plans like that. Let's quickly take a look at their plans. They have a plan. This is the free plan, $50 a month, $149 a month, $500 a month. So let's say somebody signs up for, uh, you know, let's say $50 a month, right? What's 20% of that? That's $10. So you're going to be making $10 a month for the life of that account, which I believe is a great, great plan. And if you're going to be sending a lot of visits, i pretty much sure, I'm pretty sure that you can email them and, and negotiate something even better. You could probably negotiate 30%. Okay, I'm not promising you this, but I have seen this happen with similar programs. So keep that in mind. And so let's go back and take a look at their affiliate program. And, and this is even the best part. We're not even getting to the best part. So you click on partners, you can click on this affiliate program and you click this beautiful blue button called join now. And what do you see? You see three fields. You see email, first name and password. They don't even want your last name. And what is the most important thing? Well, you, you guys see here, there's a field that's missing here, right? What do you think that field is, okay? I'll, I'll give you a second to kind of think about it. That field is the website. They don't really care about a website. So if you don't have a website or you have a website, it's in a different niche, you don't feel comfortable basically applying with this website, no worries. Just fill out your email, your name and password, and that's it. And you are not, there's no waiting period. There is no period to be approved. It's one of the best affiliate programs in a very awesome and competitive market, right? Because you can basically sign up right now and start, you know, promoting this. Like right after this video, just put your email, your first name. You can even use your real name. You can use your fake name, whatever you want. And password. Basically click on this, read these terms. 
and sign up. And once you sign up, you're going to get links and you can start going out and promoting it, right? I think one of the biggest problems when we're looking at all these affiliate programs is that they require a website. And a lot of us don't have websites. I, ha I, do, I do have websites. I have a lot of websites, but I know many of you are, you know, just don't have a website for whatever reason. Well, here you go. You don't need a website for this method, okay? And so this is our affiliate program. This is what we're going to be promoting it. And remember, this is a very unique niche, okay? Nobody's talking about this niche because everybody's promoting general niches. But if you can actually find the people, and it's not going to be very hard, this is a quality product. You're going to be making good money. Now, let's talk about ways of promoting it. I'm going to be showing you a lot of ways that you can promote it. And later in the video, I'm going to show you a twist on this method where you can basically do something else or do it in addition to what I'm explaining here, okay? So the first place you can go is you can go to LinkedIn, okay? You can go to LinkedIn and you can basically type web scraping, right? You're gonna find professionals. You're gonna find lots of people that are doing web scraping, right? Look at this, data ingestion with Python, advanced SEO, technical. Well, these are not really uh, applicable here, but data ingestion is applicable because that's another, that's another way of saying uh, parsing the data, web scraping pretty much, right? This is very, very similar. Data scientists, web scraping, try searching for web scraping Python. So we can, you know, we can try web scraping Python and see the results that we're getting, right? You're gonna have different results. And once you find the user you wanna contact, you found somebody interesting, maybe this is a student or um, maybe an amateur, they're not a professional, or maybe they're even a professional, they're doing web scraping, you need to open this profile and you can, you need to click on this contact out, right? You basically Google for contact out Chrome plugin, okay? It's not showing anything because we're not on the profile page, okay? I've, show, I've, sh I've uh, shown this tool in some of the previous videos, so it does work, it works really well. And so you need to basically open the profile that you want, click on this tool once you install it, and it's gonna show you the email and you can basically email and pitch them this way, okay? Another way that you can do it is you can go to uh, basically Google and type how to scrap websites. And I have here um, a site, I'm limiting the search to site colon news y combinator.com. And this is actually a, a very popular programming community. So if I open this site up, you're gonna see. So here, how we learn to stop worrying and love web scraping, right? And this is basically an article. So if we go to the homepage, this is a great, great site for developers, right? And developers, they pay money, right? So developers are not like consumers. They're actually making money using these tools. So there's a higher chance of them joining, um, you know, Appify or another affiliate program, basically joining the app and making money because consumers, they're not gonna be, they're, they're, much, they're a lot le less likely to buy apps, whereas, whereas developers are professionals. And so here I am looking at the main screen, just wanted to give you an idea, right? There's articles. And then if you click on comments, you can see the discussions, right? And so let's go back to our initial article that, that, that we found initially, right? And this is 78 days ago, a couple of months ago, which is not that far away. And you can basically click on a user and some users are gonna have contact information, right? You can learn that. So a couple of these don't, but there's gonna be a lot that, that do have contact information. So here you go. Email is username at Google's public, emails, uh, public email service, right? So what's the username? Waprin, however you pronounce it, at gmail.com, right? So if you see a good comment, you basically click on the profile and you can contact them and, and you can say, hey, I noticed that, you know, you are doing web scraping or you're a beginner at web scraping. I wanted to recommend you a really nice tool. I'm a fellow developer. I've been using this tool and I, I've, I've had good success with this tool, right? So this is something that I can basically uh, recommend you to do, right? And so you can basically keep browsing profiles. A lot of these profiles are not going to have contact information, right? But some will, right? There's, I think it's like 50-50. You know, you have to do a little bit of work, but this is a free method and it works, right? I basically did that when I was building apps. When I had a company, we were building uh, Mac OS and iOS apps. This is exactly what I was doing. I was basically on sites like this, looking to people to contact, looking to work with them, right? So this is something you have to... I run a small search engine that finds stuff that's not on Google, right? So you can basically figure these people out. He has a public key. Uh, you can, you can, you know, you can, you can figure out like what's the search engine. You can maybe Google the username. You have to do a little bit of detective work if you want to do that because not every account is gonna have their email, right? So here's a site. If they have a site, 
you can basically go on that side, right? You have to do detective work. This is a free method. And so you're not paying, you're not paying for traffic, right? And so that is the first thing that you have to do. Another thing that you can do is you can go on Facebook and you can just type web scraping, right? And, and what you're looking for is you're looking for beginners. You're not looking for somebody with a PhD in web scraping who's been doing it for, for 20 years or 30 years. You're looking for beginners, right? And you can say, hey, I noticed you're doing web scraping, where, well, but I have a really good app that you can use, right? The beautiful thing about this niche is that it's, it's a very profitable niche, but it's a very unique niche. And if you could find the right people, they're going to sign up for the product and you're going to get your recurring commission, okay? Very, very important. Now, Appify is not the only game in town. There's a lot of other apps. Uh, I just like Appify because it's a very simple affiliate program. It's a recurring affiliate uh, affiliate program. You're getting 20% recurring commissions with no limits, right? There are, there are affiliate programs that have limits. This one doesn't. So if you make a million dollars, they're going to they're gonna give you your cut, right? And so what you want to do is you want to type Appify versus. If you do that, you're going to see a couple of results. Admittedly, there's not that many results, but it's just Google. Google is not showing many results. But once you start reading about it, which I highly recommend that you do if you want to you know, make money in this niche, you're going to see a lot more results. So if I do uh, Appify alternative, I should see you know websites. Look at this, alternatives to Appify. Boom, boom, boom. All of these, all of these sites, right? And you can basically go on there and see if they have affiliate programs. But it's going to be very hard to match because Appify does not require a website. There is no waiting period. Uh, there is no approvement period. You don't need, you don't need, you know, you don't need to beg somebody to be approved. It's not like Max Bounty. In my opinion, and it's a great app, right? It's a proven app. It's a high quality app. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you really, but I would recommend just starting with Appify. And so you can do that, right? The other thing that you can do is you can basically Google something like uh, beginner web scraping. There's a lot of people just starting with web scraping, right? There's more people starting than people who are you know, experts in it. There's a lot more people just getting started, right? So look at this one, a beginner's guide, simple beginning. And you want to find blogs that basically people are talking about, right? You do not want to go out to go after big blogs. You want to find these smaller blogs, right? So you can say something like blog, right? Beginner uh, web scraping blog, and you can find all of these blogs. And that's what you want to do. You want to find these blogs. And once you find a blog where somebody is experimenting with web scraping, maybe they're not a professional, maybe they're just something they're doing on the side. You want to head over to hunter.io and you can basically type the name of the blog and you're going to find an email. So I'll, let me give you an example. So let's say I'm searching for, uh, I am starting, I'm starting web scraping. I don't know. Let's see a uh, blog and let's see what we find. Web scraping with Python advanced. So this is medium, right? It's not going to work. Uh, I don't need no st web scraping for fun and profit right? And so once you find the blog, you can basically click on contact and you can find their contact information. Shoot me an email to say hello. You can just do that. You can shoot them an email and here's the contact for a form. And you can basically email and say, hey, I noticed that, you know, you're doing uh, con you're doing web scraping. Uh, I know a really good tool and you're going to have your affiliate link in there. Okay. Very, very important. There's a lots of ways of doing it. And obviously you can run Facebook ads, very easily, right? But we're doing a free traffic method. If you want me to do uh, this for Facebook ads, leave a comment below and I'll do another another method, similar method, but with Facebook ads because Facebook ads is going to find these people very, very quickly as well. But we're doing a free traffic method. And so the twist to this method, if you're watching this far, I wanted to show you a twist, right? You can go to Fiverr and you can basically type scrape web and you're going to see gigs. Okay, look at this one, $75, 227 reviews. I will do web scraping, web scraping, data mining, data extraction. And what a lot of people are using this task for is, is because they believe web scraping is hard, right? They do not realize that you can actually go to a tool like Appify and you can have Airbnb scraper, Booking, Amazon. You can have all these scrapers that you can basically do. So if you have a gig, on your gig, you can basically specify, I can do your Google, I can do Airbnb, I can do booking. You basically specify uh, what it allows you to do. So if we go here, if we go to our store and you basically take a look at what it allows you, right? All of these options, you basically click on show more 
everything show more and you basically and you basically list the main ones right you don't have to list all of them but chances are the requests you're going to be getting on fiverr they're going to be easily covered by all these tasks because look at all these tasks and in this method this is not affiliate marketing you're going to be making money from fiverr okay you can also go on upwork let's go on upwork and i'll show you and then this is a simple method so i don't really know which method is better right now that I think about it, Fiverr, Upwork, you know, they're going to want you to, to scrape Amazon or Google or things like that. And you can just do it with this app. So if I go on Upwork and I type web scraping, you know, you're going to find even better gigs here. Look at this one, 200 an hour, right? 50 an hour, 40 an hour, 135 an hour, 50 an hour. And you can basically do that. And you can use a tool like Appify to do all of this, right? super super easy because in 90 percent of the cases they want you to scrape amazon or airbnb or one of these main sites super easily now a lot of people are going to be thinking but james uh, i'm just starting out on fiverr i don't have a lot of reviews what do i do what do i do well everybody starts at zero right when i started this channel i had no subscribers okay everybody starts at zero and if you here is he, this person has nine reviews he's pro verified if you just do a good job, if you go out and you and you use this tool and you go on Fiverr, you go out on Upwork, you're slowly going to be building reputation. Everybody started at zero. Nobody helped me out when I started. Nobody helped, you know, a lot of people that I know when, you know, that they have successful Fiverr uh, accounts, Upwork accounts, YouTube channels, et cetera, et cetera. You have to start from the beginning and you will do it. But you have a very, very nice niche to work into that not a lot of people are talking about simply because of this tool called Appify and other tools, but I recommend Appify uh, simply because it's one of the easiest tools that I found and I've been using it, as you can see as well. And so these are the two methods that I wanted to show you. Let me know in the comments below which of these methods you think is better. Do you prefer the first method, the affiliate marketing, or do you prefer the second method that is using on going on Fiverr or Upwork? Let me know. I'm curious because I personally cannot decide. So I'm waiting for you guys to let me know. Even if you're not going to you know, go and, and try any of these methods, maybe you're confused, just let me know which of the two methods is easier for you. Just you know, leave a one for the first method or just leave a two for the second method. I'm just curious what you guys think. And that's going to help me to make videos in the future uh, that are going to be more relevant and more useful for you. All right, guys. So this is all that I have for you guys today. Really appreciate you watching it. If you enjoyed this method, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Just enter one for the first method, two for the second method, or you can type something longer. Maybe thanks, James, really appreciate or something like that. I really, really like when you guys leave those comments. It's very encour encouraging and it's very motivating. All right, guys, so leave a comment, like this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because on this channel we talk about affiliate marketing, making money online, CPA marketing, and lots of interesting methods that nobody else is talking about that that way you can get a head start and start making money before everybody else finds out about the specific niche. All right, guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.